This lesson is a quick lesson on how to use a calculator uh, to use logs in a base other than 10. Okay, so in most situations and on the test on Friday or Thursday, you are going to have to use the change of base rule to be able to solve a problem like this or know how to get into the calculator, the TI-84, 83 plus, use a different base other than log base 10 or natural log. And this is a quick lesson on how to do that. Two things you can use, the TI-83 or 84 and Desmos, I'll show both. So first off, let's say I wanna find out when this is a decaying problem. Notice that this is smaller than one, so it's gonna be decaying. I'm wondering when is this value y going to be half of my initial value 100? The question is, okay, when is this going to be 50? Because my initial value is 100, so half of half of 100 is 50. Well, that's like saying what's 50 divided by 100? That's half. So when is my answer going to be half? Well, it ends up being this equation. And this is just a reminder that half-life and doubling time can be easily converted into a half equals this base raised to the exponent, which is the time component. And doubling time is two equals one, assuming one's my initial value. So two versus one, that's doubling. One half versus one is half. I don't need to have a value there. I can ignore it if I'm just focused on when does it double, when does it have? It will be having, when we're looking at decay, it's gonna be growing uh, if it's more than one, so uh, it's more likely to be a doubling problem. Once it's in this format, I can convert it to log A equals B raised to some power X. So I write log, my base is 85 hundredths, my argument is one half, I'll convert that to decimal, so one half. Ignore that, I'm trying to do this too quickly. Equals X. Okay, exponential form converted to logarithmic form. Now, I don't have base 85 hundredths in the calculator. Uh, I can show you how to to do it without doing the workaround. The workaround is the change of base rule that says log of some base of the argument divided by log of the same base of the original base also equals x. So the steps to get to the uh, function allows you to change the base. I don't want to change, change the base rule. I want to just work here. So use the alpha key, which is the green one, and then go to function two, which is the window key, and then scroll down to use option five, or just click on five. That gives you to this, uh, which can, where you can input the base. Base is 85 hundredths. Scroll over, enter half. Hit enter, and it tells me that approximately, four and 265 thousandths. Now, if I go back to my original problem, when is 100 going to be 50, or when is 1 going to be a half? If this is my constant multiplier, well, if I raise 85 hundredths to my solution, or 265, I should get a half, and that's very close to a half. Now, how can I do this on Desmos? I 
on Desmos, I make sure I can open up my keypad. I scroll over to functions. I go to miscellaneous and I scroll down. I notice there's log base 10. There's natural log base E. And here's a log base A where I can define what A is. I click on that. And the first thing I have to enter is my new base. So my new base was 85 hundredths. I scroll over. I enter uh, my half, which is my argument. And I get the same value as on the calculator. 4 and 26 hundredths or 4 and 265 thousandths. I can check to see if 85 hundredths raised to the 4 and 265 thousandths gives me a half and there you have it.